All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. Hey, this is Ariel from GMS Tampa Bay 12 and GMS 13 Ruler Shabbat. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Call Loyal Light Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rechah HaKadosh. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Salutations to the Akim out there that push this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom to your sisters out there that listen to meekness, quietness, and humbleness. And just come back with another lesson. You know, you know, I just took a little break from, from work real quick. And, um, get something to eat before I did that. I wanted to go ahead and put up a lesson for the brethren, for the elect. You know, you know, basically concerning, you know, the company you keep around you. All right, because really, when it comes down to it, you got to remember, brothers, it's it's only us that that's in this thing. It's only us. Everybody else that you come in contact with from your day to day. They have nothing to do with what we do with, all right? The Lord isn't dealing with everybody out here. All right, there's going to be instances where the Lord is going to he's going to bring someone to you where you can edify them, maybe bring somebody into this thing. But honestly, you know, when it comes down to it, you know, nobody's really going to get it. And this truth isn't for the world, all right? This, this is really for only the elect. And when it comes down to it, you got to keep it, you got to keep in, keep in mind that the people you keep around you, all right, it's really just a bunch of poison. All right, so you don't want to really poison yourself with other doctrines. All right, with any kind of evil spirits or anything like that. So yeah, we we in the world, but we're not of this world, all right? I actually brought that out a couple days ago. But let's bring out a couple of scriptures here and we'll wrap this up. I'm going to start with the book of Psalms. Oh, shit. I'm going to start with the book of Psalms. Chapter 1, verse 1, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord Yahweh, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. So we are supposed to be we are supposed to be in the counsel of, of what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is what in the law. Okay, so what, what we do is we meditate on the law day and night, like it says in the book of uh, Joshua. All right, that that's what is going to get us a uh, good success. This is what's going to make us prosper right here. But Satan's always going to put things in your path which can take you off the path of righteousness. Whatever it may be, maybe it be a woman, maybe it be a dude out there trying to preach something else and get you all confused and then get you out of the truth. All right, and the Lord is not the author of confusion. So if it doesn't if it doesn't correspond correlate with what we've been teaching. Then you need you need to forsake that. If it's not of the Bible, then you need to forsake it. Turn a deaf ear to that, because it ultimately is going to lead to your death. Uh, I'll read verse three, Psalms one and three, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Okay. That's if you after you will abide in the, in the ways of the truth, and you put off the ways of the world. All right, so don't abide in the counsel of the ungodly. Stay away from them sinners. Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have interactions with them throughout throughout our day to day, but you know what the book is saying. Don't give your spirit over to that stuff, and start considering it, because that's when the Lord is gonna is, is gonna take you, it's gonna kick you off, it's gonna spew you out. That's real serious. You got to stay planted like a tree. Hey, if you if if you could be uprooted that easy, man, then there's really no point for you to be on on in this battle. Just go back into the world, bro. It says the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. So the the ungodly they're not like a tree. They could. They, they get blown from left to right Wherever the wind blowing Their dumb ass is going to get blown Oh, we, oh you a more bro Oh, sh oh shit I'm a more Oh you an Israelite bro Oh shit I'm an Israelite too Oh shit Oh 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 you know you an Egyptian You you know you You come from Kemet Oh I'm Kemetian I'm Kemetian <laughs> The Kemetian <laughs> What the fuck is the Kemetian Kemetic Alright Don't even know how to say it This this I, I, I'm that too I'm everything I'm everything I choose my own destiny Type of niggas Alright Wherever the wind blows Your dumb ass is going to get blown with the wind Because you're not planted like a tree 
once you once you, once you get the truth, there's no what else are you looking for? What else? You got the truth. You gotta have, you get everything you need. What, you still not satisfied? You gotta go get something else. I right, just I I I let me let me learn this now, bro. There's nothing else to learn. So you want to you want to you know to study you know you want to look into something real quick just to see, you know, just so you can have an understanding of it. So in case somebody comes up and tries to debate you with shit, you you already understand where they're coming from. That's one thing, but you know. You over there trying to learn the whole aspect. Oh, I'm a more. You, now you you studying more science instead of going through the scriptures. Now you taking away. You taking away from the truth, man. You being blown to and fro like the wind. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. So you ungodly people, you're not going to be standing with us. And I say us. I say it humbly, because I you know I'm try, I, I would love to be part of that number. And Lord willing, the Lord has mercy on me when that day comes. But the scriptures say that the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. So all you sinners and all you, you know, you ungodly people, you're not going to be up there with the righteous. You're going to be somewhere else. You're going to get a different judgment. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the, of the ungodly shall perish. But ultimately, when it's all said and done, the way of the ungodly is going to be taken off the face of the earth. And anything that happens that's ungodly on the earth is going to be, get immediately judged, right then and there. It's going to be no, no, no. Um, try to find yourself in under that. No, judgment is going to be uh, is going to happen expediently. So we trying to tell you now, man, get right with the Lord while there's while there's still um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A little leeway, you know. You playing with it? Y'all like to play games, man. You playing with the? You playing with God? Y'all playing with y'all? Bashim y'all shy? Y'all crazy? Let's get another scripture here. This is the book of Second John. This is the book of Second John, verse ten. It says, "If there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed, for he that biddeth him God speed is partaker of his evil deeds." You understand what that is saying? It says don't even bring that if they talking some other shit that don't that don't line up with the holy scriptures, don't bring them into your house. Okay? Now I'm to say, oh, you can't have no company or whatever. You know, let's you gotta understand, you gotta be spiritual about it. Okay? Like for instance, we got the body of Yahweh Shai. Alright, we got great millstone. Alright, we got great millstone. Say there's a dude that comes up to the camp and you know. He's listening, or what have you. You know, he might even he might even he might even bring tithes or some water or something. But yet, he's still he's still preaching something out of his own heart. Or he's preaching some other doctrine. You can't let that man into GMS, man. You can't let that man into your camp. And you can't be like I I you know you know you know uh, you have my heart. You know you can't beat him Godspeed. You know, with some safety out there, because really the Lord ain't dealing with that vessel. If the Lord was really dealing with him, he would have shed all that other that other stuff off, talking about whether it be Kemet, Kemet or whether it be uh, you know Christianity. Because a lot of these people who come up listen to the camps, they they may be intrigued, but they still got that Christian spirit on. They're not ready yet, so you can't let them into the you can't let them into the congregation. You can't let them into your house and try to break bread and all that. And don't even bid them Godspeed. Don't bless them in the name of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Because he ain't right yet. He got to get right. He has to be fully persuaded in his own mind before you can even, you know, start dealing with him on that level. The scriptures say that. You got to stay away from these people who are preaching this, that, and the third. If you're not preaching what Yahweh Shem Yahushai uh, had written down in this book, then what else? Is the, you know, what, what are you doing? Right? We're not dealing with people outside of this. On the spiritual level. Yeah, we got to, again, we got to deal with people on a physical level. We understand that. Okay, yeah, you're going to deal with people on a day to day. All right? Don't get simple with it. Oh, well, you just said, bro, don't get simple with it. If you can't understand what the scripture is saying, then this is probably not for you. You're one of those guys that we're not going to be God's beat. And the Lord ain't dealing with you. You're one of them. If you can't understand what the scripture is saying, you, you, you're, you're dumb. You're probably dumb. You deserve to be made fun of and teased. 
it's really what it's coming down to right now. If you're not really, if you're not getting it, bro, like, like it's, it's so easy to understand, but you're not getting it, bro. Like, you deserve to be made fun of. We get another one here. This is the book of Titus, chapter three, verse nine. It says, but it says, let's start here. Verse nine, but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law for they are unprofitable in vain. Why? Because here it is, we're breaking it down through the Bible. Okay, but you want to, you want to, you're getting all contentious with us about, oh, well, this means that, well, that, this, man, well, bro, it says it right here. Okay, we're reading it out of the Bible. What is there to argue about? Okay, it says it right here. Okay, if you have a real sincere question, okay, we'll answer it for you. But here, if we answered your question, you got another question, we answered that one too. And now you're, now, now it's to the point where you, you're just getting, you're being contentious. And now you, you, you're causing strife. You don't really believe. We just broke it down for you, but you still don't believe? What the hell's the problem? We just broke it down in plain English. Okay, this means that, here's the scripture, here's a precept to that. Oh, uh, here's one more precept. Anybody else got a precept? Oh, uh, uh, here's a third, a fourth precept. All right, so that's really what this means. All right, you understand? Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. There's no buts, man, what the fuck? We just told you what it means. We just told you what it means in plain English. We're using English language. And we may even go into the Greek or the Hebrew just so like, okay, well, you see, this is why it means that because this actually means that and that means this, okay? And if you go into this word here and you look it up, it means this. So this, when you read the scripture, you got to read it like this, okay? So it's simple, you get it? Yeah, but, yeah, but, okay, but, yeah, I, I, understand, I get you, but you niggas don't really get it, man. Because you really don't believe in the Heavenly Father. You don't really believe in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. So ultimately, the Lord's not dealing with you. It says, it says it's unprofitable in vain. You go over there trying to, trying to, trying to get your point across. It's, it's, it's unprofitable. It's worthless. It says a man that is a heretic, a man that is an heretic after the first and second abomination reject. Uh, at, not abomination. Adam, ad, admoni, admonition, uh, admi, adm, adm, admonition, of reject. Excuse me, I have trouble saying that word. Okay, here it is. We told you once, we told you twice, and you still don't get it. It's yeah, but yeah, but. Well, guess what? You know what? You can leave. All right, we're not talking about this with you anymore, because all it is is is, is it's going to lead to contention. And here it is. We're going to go back and forth. I'm clearly right. You're clearly wrong, but you still want to argue. We're right. We're always right. And you're wrong. Because we're coming out of the Bible. We're right. We're telling you, it says that. That's what this means. And if you read, read this word, you got to read it like this because this word means that in the Hebrew. All right? So you read it like that now. Okay, this is this is a clerical error. So you, got, you can't use that word. You got to use this word. It's wrong. They wrote it wrong. This is the proper word. This is the word that's supposed to be there. All right? We're right. And you're saying, nah, but, it, but, but, but. Okay, well, what what basis do you you going by your emo, what your emotions or what or facts? Which one is it? Because if it's the facts, then you gotta get your facts right. Because we're telling you something different, and we did our research. You're coming off of emotions. You don't like our answer, so it says reject. You gotta get you're gonna get rejected. That's why we don't we don't deal with people like that. Let people in, a, in, in, in within the congregation that don't believe this thing 144 percent. The hell with everybody out here, be honest with you, man. The, the hell with this place, man. You still you still tied into this world already? You still tied into to people? We still yeah, we deal with people. Yeah, we got people we care about in this world, but honestly, really the hell with them if they, you know. Honestly. Yeah, we still deal with people. We're still cordial and we nice to people out here. But when it comes down to this, the Bible, the truth, and you ain't coming you ain't coming in spirit y'all by Shimmy Al Shai, really, you know. We're not even gonna talk about this with you, because all it's gonna do is lead to contention and strife. We ain't got time for all that, and 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 that goes to these other camps out there too. That's why the the elders say you don't even deal with these other camps no more. Don't even go up to their camps and try to and try to contend with them because it's unprofitable. They believe what they believe. They're wrong, but they believe it. So it's like trying to go up to a transvestite and tell them, "Oh, it's wrong to be a transvestite." He already got the surgery. He did it right. Like, what are you? How are you gonna argue with him? He did it. He believes that that's right. If he didn't believe it, he wouldn't spend $10,000 to get titties. 
Why are you arguing with him? You can't argue with him. Okay? You just call it out. You see it. You call it out. All right? You mark them. You know? Then that's really it. If they if they don't like them being self being marked like that, then they'll they have to they have to uh, they have to defend their gospel. They have to go. They, hey, if they really believe it, they'll defend the gospel. They'll make a video. And if they make a video, then we'll respond to the video. I mean, we're not going to do all this back and forth shit. But when it comes down to it, if you're a heretic and you bring in some other doctrine, we're going to have to we'll, we'll correct it and we'll bring it out through the scriptures the right way. And we'll, and we'll go through every single point that you made and we'll break it down the right way so there's no confusion, okay? But we're going to do it on on our platform, on our terms, on the terms of Yahweh by Shimei al -Shai. That's why we don't deal with these news these news stations. We don't deal with them no more. Because what? You got to go to Esau and they're going to control the whole thing. No. If you want to interview us, you got to come to the camp. And you got to come to our platform. This is the book of Romans, chapter 16, verse four, uh, 17, rather. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them that cause, which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. Okay? So we mark them by, look, this man right here, he's preaching this shit. That shit is wrong. This is the right way to teach it. All right? Don't go, don't, don't, don't watch his videos. Don't learn under him. Okay? He teaches the wrong thing. He teaches this. Okay? We teach this. This is the right way. Okay? Them over there, they teach this shit. That shit is wrong. This is why it's wrong. We go through the scriptures, break it down. Okay? In conclusion, they're wrong. We're right. Shalom. Okay? We broke it down through the scriptures in English. Some brothers do it in Spanish. But it says, mark them that cause division because you got people out there preaching all types of doctrines contrary to what we learned from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. So if, it, if it's not what they say, it's wrong because the elders and apostles are right. And if you don't believe the elders and apostles of Great Millstone are right, then you're not you're not you're not going by facts and in, in, in truth because they're coming out of the Bible the right way like it's right you like what's the problem what's the beef it's right it's right like everything that the men say is right what what is your real problem with it why can't why can't they be right why can't we be right and everybody else be wrong so somebody's got to be right we're right we're 100 percent right nobody else is saying that they're 100 percent right but the men of great millstone we're the only ones saying that nobody else dare say that but we'll say that because we have confidence in in, in, in the spirit that Yahweh Hashem Yahshua bestowed upon us, starting with the with the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. It starts with them. They labored for for decades. And you're telling me they're wrong? The whole time they've been wrong? Get the fuck out of here! You're lying, bro. You're emotional. They're not wrong. Because they broke it down. They broke. It, they've been breaking it down for 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 decades. A lot of y'all got y'all. A lot of y'all got personal problems, bro. Like y'all. That's why we don't like people because people are stupid. Let me read this one. Uh, this is Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse seventeen. No, Second Thessalonians chapter three, verse. Why did I say that? Second Thessalonians chapter three, verse six. Now we compare. Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Yahushua Hamashiach, that ye withdraw yourself from every brother that walketh disorderly. And, and not after the, the tradition which he received from us. So in other words, stay away from those that, that teach contrary to what the elders and apostles of Great Millstone teach. Because you're going to get confused and then you're going to end up falling out. And then you're going to die. Like, you see you see what happens? If you're not with us, then you're against us. If you're not with you, how about Shimei Shai, then you're against you, how about Shimei Shai. You can't be neutral. If you're not with you, how about Shimei Shai, you're against you, how about Shimei Shai. And ultimately, you're gonna end. You're gonna. It's gonna end with pain and death. That's what we're telling you. Just, just, just rest with us because you know brothers got the answers. Some brothers know more than other brothers, but ultimately, we're on the same vibration. You're gonna get the answer if you got a question, a, gen, a genuine question. You ask a brother. That brother will get the answer for you, and it's gonna be right. And if by chance a brother gets something wrong, he will be corrected. 
and he will and and he will uh, make the correction uh, notable uh, for the rest of the congregation. So if anybody watched the video and was, something was wrong, he'll correct himself with another video because brothers are humble. Like you know, Slakia, you know, I said this in the last video. Um, I just want to make this video to, to correct it so there's no um, this doesn't get misconstrued. You know, brothers are humble, man. We're not no we're not real pride over here, bro. And it's 1.44 in the afternoon. So with that, you know, I'll go ahead and close this video out. Uh, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Brakatei Yahweh, Brakatei Yahweh Shai, Call Loyim La Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Barshem Rachak Wadash, Double Lamas to the Elders and Apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Salutations to the Akim that push the word of truth and sincerity and the right doctrine. And uh, of course, shalom to your sisters as well too that listen in meekness, quietness, and humbleness. And uh, shalom, peace.